In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for SROH2 plus HF. We have strontium hydroxide plus hydrofluoric acid. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So these are the coefficients for the molecular equation. It's balanced. Now we write the state for each substance. So strontium hydroxide, that's a strong base. That's going to be soluble. HF, we write aqueous because it dissolves in water. But this is a weak acid, so it's going to be a weak electrolyte. It really won't dissociate much into its ions. Water is a liquid. And then strontium fluoride, if you look this up on a solubility table, strontium fluoride is actually only slightly soluble, just a little bit dissolves. For net ionic equations, we're going to call that a solid. So we have our states. Next, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation for the strontium hydroxide plus the hydrofluoric acid. Now we can cross out spectator ions, which appear on both sides. But as I look at it, it's different. Both sides are different. There's nothing that's the same. So there aren't any spectator ions, so I can't cross those out. So this is our complete ionic equation. You'll note that we had this hydrofluoric acid. We're keeping this together. We don't split this apart because it's a weak acid. So it's a weak electrolyte. We only split strong electrolytes apart. Also note the strontium fluoride, since we said that's a solid or it's only slightly soluble, we don't split that apart in our net ionic equation either. And we don't split water apart. So it's really only the strontium hydroxide we've broken apart into its ions. So because everything's different on both sides, there aren't any spectator ions. This is both the complete and the net ionic equation for SROH2 plus HF. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.